tell you what, young cat, you're making me feel more American every single minute. <laughs>
a lot of us do feel like we should be allowed to enjoy an unhealthy meal once in a while. And we are not the only country that does this. Every country has fried foods, boiled foods, foods with tons of seasonings. You know, uh, we do get a lot of our recipes from you guys, from Europe, from Asia, from Africa. We get those recipes from the old world. And we enjoy our foods. We enjoy our sweets, our savories. We enjoy all those foods. And I guess it, for me, it's very uncomfortable as an American to admit to people I meet from other countries that I am an American because that is the one stereotype I don't want people to have. I don't want people to think that I'm just, you know, that stupid, lazy, fat person who does nothing but eat junk food. I do enjoy junk food, but I also eat foods that are cooked, you know, nice home-cooked food. I like to eat at nice restaurants, not just fast food restaurants. And, you know, I would like to think that just because I enjoy food, I shouldn't be shamed for that. Or if I enjoy, uh, if I enjoy a burger once in a while, that I shouldn't be made to feel ashamed for that. So, yes, Americans are generally heavy, but not everybody. Uh, in fact, if you go into a lot of stores, most of the sizes on the shelves are for smaller people, with very few options for larger people. Americans only eat unhealthy and fried foods. They also only drink soda. Uh, again, uh, when it comes to food... Yes, Americans do have a lot of fried foods. We will pretty much deep fry damn near everything. We, we love our fried foods. We'll fry pretty much anything. Uh, that being said, uh, we do have a lot of healthy options. We do have organic foods. We do have like that. The problem is that a lot of them are expensive, and a lot of Americans can't really afford to buy the organic stuff full time. Um, we do eat a lot of greasy foods, too. But that's not all we eat. We, we have a, a mix, you know, and it depends on each person, each household. Some people will eat takeout every night. Some people will eat fried foods every night. Some people will cook nice, full, nutritious meals every night. It just really depends. It, it depends on who and where. And everyone kind of, every region has their own uh, typical menu. But, uh, again, it, it is true to an extent. We do eat a lot of fried foods, and it is a favorite. We love our cheese and fried food and all that stuff. We love that. But not every American does. Um, I have friends who cannot eat a lot of that stuff, and they get sick off of it. So they can only eat specific healthier foods. Um, for me, I just figure, you know, I can eat pretty much anything. As far as sodas are concerned, uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, a lot of Americans do drink it. I know I drink a lot of it. I will drink almost nothing but soda. Uh, and we call them different things. We call them soda, soda pop, pop. Uh, we call it Coke, which is a brand, but we still call it that. We also call it cola. Cola is a nice generic term. Soda, soda and cola, I think, are some of the more good generic terms for it. But uh, I personally do drink a lot of soda. I will sometimes drink juice, and I very rarely drink water. Uh, I will almost always have cans of soda, preferably Coke. I do like Coca-Cola. But I will try, I will drink other sodas too. But that's just me. Not every American is like that. I happen to be like that. My parents actually do not drink soda very often. Um, my mother drinks primarily water. I mean, gallons upon gallons upon gallons of water. She will buy tons of bottled water. And, yeah, a lot of us will not touch our tap water anymore. And that's not something we're going to get into a whole lot. Um, 
if you're out in the, the country, you can get, you know, fresh, fresh water, like spring water, well water, or something like that. That's fine. That's pretty good. But a lot of, like, city water is not too good. Uh, so we drink, we drink a lot of bottled water. And most Americans actually do primarily drink water. Every time I go out with a friend or somebody, a lot of people just get water. So Americans drink a lot of water, contrary to what people think. Uh, juice, sweet tea, iced tea, fruit tea, we will drink a lot of those. Um, and sweet tea is basically just iced tea with sugar and sometimes just sugar, sometimes it's fruit. Most commonly uh, raspberry and lemon. Lemon is the most popular. But yeah, a lot of Americans are actually cutting back on the soda they drink. So you will see a lot of people doing water, juice, Powerade, Gatorade, sports drinks. Uh, and depending on where you live here, sports drinks are actually really beneficial. Like, uh, if you're very active, it's a very beneficial thing to drink. If you live in areas like Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, where it's hot most of the year, and it's very, very easy to get dehydrated, uh, it's a good thing to have. Uh, having lived in Texas, uh, I have actually found that drinking water has actually made me extremely sick when I get dehydrated and hot in Texas. But drinking a sports drink will make me feel better because it has more than just liquid. It has other stuff in it, electrolytes and vitamins and stuff. But if you're kind of a person who sits around and doesn't really have a whole lot of activity or you're not out sweating a whole lot, it's probably not very healthy because it is a sugary drink. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. We are not all soda drinkers. A lot of a lot of Americans drink uh, sports drinks, water, juice, and iced tea. Uh, 